have random thoughts in my head, and sometimes I let them come out of my mouth. Hello, welcome back to Random Thought. This is Dee Marie, and today I have my wonderful bestest friend, Emma Kelly. Welcome, Kelly. Welcome. Thanks for coming to Random Thought. Okay, so today, um, we just randomly, I said to Kelly, hey, want to be on the show? She said, I'll be on the show. And we wanted to talk about um, people who are just too friendly with their kids. Mm. Now, the whole reason I thought about it, now don't quote me because I don't remember the exact word for word, but I saw like um, a piece on this guy who dick faced his kid, like his baby, like he drew a dick on his baby's face. And I was just like, and it was some big thing with Twitter and how they took it down or something. Like I said, don't quote me, but um, I just remember seeing it and being like, I don't give a crap if Twitter took it down or not. Why would you dick face your baby? Like, what the heck? So, I want to get your thoughts on people who are just like... Ridiculous. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. There's no way you should be doing anything remotely close to that. Mm -hmm. It's not your friend. It's not your buddy. It's not your drinking partner. It's your child. An innocent little child. Why would you even think about that at all? Exactly. I, I, I would never look at my child and say, oh, hey, yeah, she fell asleep without her shoes on. I'm going to mess with her and draw all over her. Exactly. You know, I don't understand it. No, I think I think people, um, you know, and I don't even know if it's society today or if it's people are having kids younger and they just feel like eh, it's whatever. I just feel like. You know, we need to try to keep our children kids as long as we can. They grow up too fast as is. Exactly. They're bombarded by the media and everything mm -hmm. else. And I, modesty. Yeah. At, at Disney World, there was teenagers, young teenagers with short shorts on, and I'm seeing the bottoms of their butts. Mm -hmm. How do you explain that? The kids are growing up too fast. They see too much. Mm -hmm. You know, I love... Having that innocence, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to be bombarded by all the crap in the world sooner or later anyway, so why not have that innocence linger a as little bit? As long as you can. I mean, my daughter is already six, and mm -hmm. I personally don't even like her wearing little heels in her shoes. That I mean, I know it's not even a big thing, but for me, it's like you have plenty of time to wear heels. Stay yes. in those cute little candies and flats and adorable mm -hmm. strap ones as long yes. as I can keep you yes. in them. Why rush you into, you know, and I know it's not even that big deal. It's probably like Mary Jane's with little heels on the bottom, but for me, it's still like... They look too big. Yeah, they do. They look too big. And you know, I'm already <clears throat> prepping you to be walking in heels. Like, can't, we got plenty of time. And I don't know whether people are just having kids too young mm -hmm. and not mature themselves, or they're looking for a best friend that they're not able to find a companion that's close enough to them, similar interests, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. And it's getting ridiculous because then we have these kids that are thinking they're already grown, mm -hmm. having adult conversations when they were they're still young, and it's just it's it's not right. Kids are kids for a reason. There's no reason to be having them grow up faster or think that they're on the same level, and they get into all this trouble, mm -hmm. and the parents want to complain or laugh it off, like, ah, oh, oh, she's just like that, she, oh, it's okay. Yeah. No, it's not okay. Yeah. No wonder we have so many problems with the kids today. Mm -hmm. You know, kids are going to jail young, they're getting pregnant young, instead of growing up, getting an education, get out there, get on your own, they're growing up and they're living in their mom's basement until they're 40, 45. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like by the time they're teenagers, they already feel like they've been there, done that. That they, there's nothing more for them to do. And I Except definitely, for go deeper. Exactly. Deeper, and I definitely away. think that some parents are allowing their children to do things way too soon. I mean, me, I, I know, I don't know if it's something, um, you know, my daughter told me that a friend of hers has a boyfriend. And I'm like... You're in kindergarten. Why do you have a boyfriend? I mean, there's always that little, oh, he's my boyfriend thing, you know, and that's fine when it's cute, it's sweet, but when there's kissing involved. Yeah, and that's what she said, they, they kiss, they hug, and I'm just like, 
I, I mean, I've never been one to yeah. play around like that. Like, I have, my daughter has a friend that, you know, they've been friends since birth. And we've always been like, oh, you guys are going to get married. But we've never been like, oh, hold each other's hands and kiss and exactly. do all that. We've never been like that ever. And I think that some people take that a step too far. And yes. it's just like. Well, Elena being in first grade, um, she has a friend who was dating another friend of hers. And. The girl that I know, I, can't I know, take it. <laughs> her friend, a boy, I uh, can't say name, mm -hmm. he got jealous because his girlfriend took a snack from another boy. Uh, and he went over and he decked him. Oh my god. And this is first grade. Wow. First grade. Wow. I mean, what are we setting our kids up for? Mm -hmm. You know, parenting, there's. A certain level of respect there. You need to help teach and guide your children to grow up in a good manner. The type of adult you would like to see them be. Mm -hmm. Yes, there comes a point in time when they're thinking for themselves, they're making their own decisions, and then you have to kind of flip the switch a little into more of friend but still have that parenting. Mm -hmm. But to start out as a friendship without that parenting, there's no guidance. The kids are going to run wild. Yeah. And I can't stand seeing that. I can't stand it at all. Mm -mm. Just seeing the kids run amok, the parents just glance over and just be like, oh, well. And you know, that has always bothered me. Like, um, I'll be hanging out with people who have young kids. Um, I think it's before I even had my daughter and um, you know people had young kids and the young kids was talking to me like they're the, the same as their parent it's like um no 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 excuse you mm -hmm. this is an adult conversation you do not belong in it and I really need you your mom to set that kind of bounds and because she wasn't setting that kind of bounds it was like whatever and I'm just like okay. and, and what do you do you when know, you, I can't discipline your child, but I'm exactly. telling you, when your kid becomes a teen, they're going to be hard. And deal with. I will be laughing my butt off. Exactly. Well, a couple weeks ago, Elena was sitting there with her grandfather. Now, mind you, there is a couple things that I'll say to her, like, your legs aren't broke, get up and get it yourself. Mm -hmm. She turned around to her grandfather and said, you have two legs pop up, you need to know how to use them. When he asked her to get a drink yeah. or something like that. Mm -hmm. I turned around, I gripped her up, and I said, no, you do not talk to him like that. Mm -mm. He has been on this earth for 70-some years. He's been using his legs. You can be nice, get up and do it. Yeah. And right away, she went over, she apologized without me saying anything, and she has not done anything like that since. Mm -hmm. And how can you let something like that go? Yeah. They are not on that level. They should not be speaking to adults like that. There yeah. is a certain level of respect. Yeah. Yes, of course, you give respect when you get respect. But just the fact that you're a human being and you are older, if you haven't done anything wrong to that kid, there's a certain level of respect that is minimal. Yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, definitely cycling back to this, this dick-faced yeah. baby, I definitely oh. think... I, I don't know, after I, I heard, I was watching that, um, and I heard about it, I was just like, you know, I can see these people having tons of problems with their kids. I can see these people being the type of people who let their kids get drunk and chill, whatever, at young ages. Mm -hmm. I can see, the, you know, these people just um, being really irresponsible and not the type of people I would want to raise my kid or, you know, to yes. even you know influence in, in any way shape or fashion mm -hmm. and I, I mean I don't know I mean this is a show with opinions and I want your opinion so leave in the comments below tell me what do you think about this whole dick face baby thing if I can find the um, article. the article that I read or that I watched I can't remember if I read or watched or both um, then then I will leave it in the description below but tell me um, what do you think like do you think these people were irresponsible do you think there's gonna be problems later down the road and like where is it, you know, where do you draw the line between being friends with your kids and just being friendly and being parents? Okay, so we're going to close this out with the question of the day. And today's question of the day is what is your favorite French number? <laughs> 
French number. I really? <laughs> So I used to take French in high school and like I literally was listening to someone, uh, the people talk French when they were doing my hair and I was like, oh my god, I remember when I took French, me and my sister's favorite number was 79. Like that's my favorite French what? number, 79 is 69. I know! I know! <laughs> Ironic! No. <laughs> This is why you can't be friends with your kids, okay? <laughs> I would never tell my kid that's my favorite number. <laughs> because last thing I need her to do is go to school and be like, my mom's favorite number oh. is Swazz on these nub, yeah. And she but, would too. Uh, she would. Yes. But yes. like my you know, we used to all the time we'd be like, Swazz on these nub. And it's like <laughs> Wow. So So your so, little gang sign was the number 69. <laughs> <laughs> See, she was already trying to find a pimp. I know. That's what that is. <laughs> okay, so in the, the comments below, tell me what's your favorite French number. Tell me what your um, parenting, you know, issues are, and what you what is your favorite? Google number? French Translate. Okay, <laughs> do that. Find your French number, and then just copy paste. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, huit. Wheat is another one of my favorite. Wheat. Eight. I like wheat. Okay. I like wheat. All right. Eight. Wheat. All right. Bye. Eight. Have a great day. And like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye. Is a good friend of mine who writes a blog, a very sensual, sexy blog, and he knows a lot about sex. And we were talking, and we just decided to talk about. Um, Oh, I know this. Oh, we wanted to talk.